and then fast forward overnight it's dry until tomorrow afternoon evening and we get the second round of it a lot more scattered then. Seven day forecast for Los Angeles Orange County shows after this weekend we go towards a warming trend. Look at this Wednesday Thursday 77 back above average then cooling off a tad going into next weekend but it doesn't look like we're getting rain next weekend. That's a good thing. Valleys Inland Empire temperatures pretty cool and then eventually going back towards 80 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. Those will be the two warmest days of the week it's looking like. Beach communities surf one to five feet today three to seven tomorrow so there's high surf advisory for uh, especially LA County Ventura County mountain areas getting snow at about 5,000 feet going into tomorrow and then we see the temperatures going up to 67 by Thursday finally our deserts here you see uh, windy conditions through the weekend cool chilly especially uh, in those areas and then back to 83 by Thursday mark Irene okay Tony thank you and let's take a look at some of our headlines this morning now at five disturbing surveillance video teens fighting each other at a local juvenile hall as probation officers are seen just looking on plus a week-long search for a woman missing here in Southern California takes an unusual twist the discovery at LAX as we brace for another weekend of rain in the forecast, there is growing frustration over landslide issues in Topanga Canyon. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. Time now is 5 uh, 5 a.m. on your Saturday. I'm Mark Robles. and I'm Irene Cruz. Disturbing surveillance video from inside a local juvenile hall. It shows probation officers standing by as one teen is beaten by a group of other detainees. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher has the details. It was very clear like this was like gladiator fights from the old school days or a fight club that they were running. The release of shocking video inside Downey's Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall has the troubled detention center right back in the headlines. Probation staff seemingly encouraging a gladiator fight, watching with little to no intervention, as detainees one by one take turns beating another young man, each taking a couple of swings, then sitting down to eat. A probation officer at the end giving an approving handshake following the last fight. These are the people that wear badges that we trust to be um, caring and rehabilitating our young people, and they're not. The surveillance video from last December, horrifying and troubling, says Scott Budnick, who founded the Anti-Recidivism Coalition and has volunteered as a mentor inside Los Padrinos and other detention centers for more than 20 years. There are many probation officers who push kids in the right direction. But when you see this, and this has been a pervasive problem, when you see this, um, those are probation officers that should go to prison. Those are probation officers that should be arrested immediately and put in jail, just like any other normal person that's abusing kids would be. For now, eight staff members are on leave as an investigation continues. L.A. County Probation Chief Guillermo Vera Rosa saying in a statement, now that the video has been released to the media, it should be abundantly clear why I felt compelled to take swift action once this incident was brought to my attention. I not only ordered those involved be relieved of duty pending an investigation, I referred the investigation to an external law enforcement agency to ensure independence. Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall has been plagued with problems, including a pair of detainees escaping and a riot breaking out inside the facility last July. Michelle Fisher, ABC7 Eyewitness News. The LAPD has arrested a man in connection with a string of assaults on women in the Venice canals. A warning, the images posted are hard to see. Mary Klein was out for an evening walk when she was attacked. She's currently hospitalized with severe facial injuries, including a fractured jaw. She also had several of her teeth knocked out in the vicious assault. She has set, a, uh, set up a GoFundMe to help pay for medical expenses. Police arrested 29-year-old Anthony Jones in San Diego. He's being held on more than $3 million bail. Even with an arrest, the violent assaults have brought on a wave of fear and anger. No woman, no visitor, no family should be unsafe walking in any neighborhood in the city of Los Angeles, much less our city's number one tourist destination. 
Both victims suffered serious injuries. Mary will need facial reconstructive surgery, and we have a link to the GoFundMe account to help pay for Mary's medical bills on our website, abc7.com. A troubling twist in the week-long search for a missing woman. Police say that her phone was just found at a Southwest Airlines ticket counter at LAX, but there's no evidence that she ever got onto a plane. This is Sacramento State University student Noel.